Joints. Preparing the handheld equipment. Adherence between synthetic membranes is achieved by using hot air or solvents, never with adhesives. There are specific sizes and shapes for completing the finishing details. For longitudinal and transversal joints, straight 40 mm nozzles are the most appropriate. Make sure the nozzle is clean and that no residue is obstructing the outflow of the hot air. Regulate the temperature of the equipment to reach 550 degrees Celsius. Activate the switch and wait a few minutes until the equipment has reached the working temperature. In general, hand equipment has a 10 position regulator with a 60 degrees Celsius variation between each position. Joints. Verifying the weld. Before starting to weld, perform a trial to make sure the selected temperature is correct. This can vary depending on environmental conditions, airflow, the nozzle used, and the speed of work. Test by pulling hard on the two opposite ends. The membrane should tear, but the weld should remain well bonded. If the temperature is too high, the membrane will scorch and will not weld correctly. When pulling on the weld, we see how the membrane deteriorates. On the other hand, if the working temperature is too low, spots will remain that have not welded. When pulling on the membrane, the weld breaks apart before the membrane tears. Joints. Welding roofing membrane by hand. Once the equipment is ready, unroll the roofing membrane. Leave an overlap of at least 5 centimeters. On mechanically secured systems, the overlap should be 10 centimeters. This way the fastened area will be completely covered. It is recommended that the membrane be secured with spot welds every 50 centimeters. Insert the nozzle between the two plies at a 45 degree angle. Move the heat welder along continuously. At the same time, press down with the roller, always moving forward to prevent wrinkles from forming. The weld is correct when a bright strip and a light whitish smoke appear along the seam joint. Once the joint is sealed, use a blunt screwdriver to check and make sure that the weld is continuous with no openings. For greater precaution and to improve the finish, we recommend going over the joint with liquid PVC. Joints. Welding with automatic equipment. To increase output efficiency on large-scale jobs, we recommend using automatic welding equipment. The procedure is basically the same as when using hand equipment, except that with the automatic equipment, the work speed must be established. Insert the nozzle under the overlap. The equipment starts operating when this movement is performed. Then weld normally allowing the equipment to work at the programmed speed. With an air temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and using a 40 millimeter nozzle, the recommended temperature is 560 degrees Celsius and a speed of 4.5 meters per minute. Joints. T-joints. It is advisable to first weld the transversal joints and then the longitudinal joints. When welding, take special care with the lip of the previous weld. Always round off corners to avoid weak spots in the joint. Taper the edges of the membrane. This way the thickness of the superimposed layers will be less. Four plies should never meet at the same point. If this happens, Place the joints in such a way that they are not aligned transversally. Make sure that all the joints have been made correctly. For added precaution, seal the joint with liquid PVC.
Edge flashing. One.